Hello, welcome back guys, this is the Galactic Hero, and today I've got another, well not really another, <laughs> I've got my first, at least hopefully it's gonna continue, a command tutorial. Now, it's a pretty simple command, it's basically going to be 10 cool things that you can put on your head. Now, by that I don't mean normal skulls, like you can just find in the, in wait, wait, I'm, I'm looking the wrong place, <laughs> there they are, it's not, it's not the normal skulls, it's actually like different types of blocks that you can use with commands. And I've got the like I've got ten of the best examples of them. At least the ones that I enjoy the most. Now the commands right here, it's also going to be on the screen, and of course also in the description, the base command, and every single one of the commands, if you don't really want to type them, just copy paste them directly. They'll all be in the description. And okay, so uh, I guess let's begin. So the command is replace item entity at p slot.armor.head minecraft and then the item name now let me just explain this command replace item is rep is a command that replaces any item and any object that can hold items or in any entity or yourself so it can set an item in any part of your inventory and in this case i'm going to do it in your slot and your head slot and that's basically um entity now is just basically a parameter it because you can choose either entity or block at p is basically me the closest player slot.armor.head it's choosing the slot the it's an it's an armor slot and it's the armor slot for the head and that's and the, whatever this is is the item that's going to be, be put and i'm showing you the 10 coolest ones that you can put and the reason why i'm showing you is because some make your head look really cool and i'll show you what i mean in a sec so okay let's jump right into it now, first one is an end rod, and what it does makes you look like a unicorn. <laughs> and I mean that seriously, look at the unicorn! It's a cute little horn. You can just ride around. I mean, it would be the best thing with particles, and that's exactly what I thought of. Here's some particles. Yeah, I'm a unicorn! <laughs> and if, you, if you're creative mode and you just fly around, yay! Now you're officially a unicorn. Maybe there should be like a unicorn morph one command. That would be super cool. Maybe I should actually try working on that. I don't know. Okay, next we have a dropper or dispenser. And now, it makes a pretty cool face. Now, it's not, it, this is probably the most boring one, but it, I guess it's kind of nice to add in. It kind of shows like a little face, like a little cute face. You can also just, yeah, just it's just a face, nice cute face. <laughs> I don't know, it's just so cute, especially the, the dropper. I mean, wait, sorry, I'm in the dispenser. Well, it's like, yeah, I'm so happy. Okay, I don't even know what I'm saying. Okay. Third is the trap door. It kind of looks like a scarf. Now slabs and the daylight sensors also work, but this one probably looks mostly like a scarf. The others kind of just cover up your face. Same thing for uh, things like enchantment tables and where are they? Enchantment tables and portals and things like that. Those will also just cover up most of your face and they won't really look that cool. I wish the enchantment table actually had the book on top. That would make it super cool, and I would definitely would have added it. But anyway, yay! Trap door. It's kind of like a scarf. It could actually be used for something. Next is a glass block. Now it kind of acts like a, like a glass helmet. Oh, in my opinion, it would be cool for a space helmet. Look, you can see through it. See your head through. That's the coolest part. I, I don't know why that's so cool, but it's just cool. And next is something very similar to it, and it's ice. It makes you, your head look frozen. It's also just as cool, and it makes your head also look blue. It's just, it's just nice. And at, I mean, the reason why I'm saying they're similar is because they're both transparent. Next we have a chest. Now it's really weird about the chest is that it shows the outer layers of your head. Like I know how skins have two layers. The second layer, the, the outermost layer, is going to be outside the chest. And now it looks like there's chest on like there's blood on the chest. If I take this off, it's just part of my skin. I used it for a bit of depth to my skin. But it's actually an outer layer. Now let me just put that chest back on. If I can walk back. There we go. Now, it actually shows, like, the top of your head. I mean, you can't see it right now, but in multiplayer you can see it. And I, you can barely see, like, a visible thin line of pixels right above the chest. And that's basically, it's showing the top of your head. And that's really it. I mean, you can't, <laughs> unfortunately, you can't open the chest. That would have been the coolest part. It also works with ender chests. If I alter this so it's ender chest, it does the exact same thing, except it's just ender chest. So, not, not much of a difference. Next we have an anvil. Now, honestly, it just looks cool. I don't know whether it's like a mohawk or a hammerhead. It just makes you look 
really cool, like a hammerhead. That's, that's my point, it's like a hammer. Now you're a hammer. Or you have just a really thick mohawk or something like that. It's just a little cool thing. Next we have a slime block. Now this is similar to the glass and the ice, but slime block is even cooler because it's less transparent. It makes your head look really slimy and like your head is slime or something. It's probably the coolest one out of those, like your head's trapped in a slime block. Unfortunately, pe people who can't jump on your head. That would have been the coolest part if you just stand still and someone can just jump on your head since the slime block's on it. That would be a cool feature for Minecraft to add. Next we have a fence, and yes, by something, I literally mean something. I don't know what this really is. Fence goes straight through your head. I don't, I can't even explain this one. Just the fact that it's, I guess it's cool. <laughs> I don't know, but yeah, it's something and it's cool. It's better than the rest. And well, actually this one's the coolest and you might've known about it, but you can actually place banners on your head. Now check it out. Now the banners, actually on my head and this one's just black but of course the banner can have something on it and the reasons why uh, the purposes i put for are like advertisement for i don't know some sort of minecraft thing team color like for, if you're playing a mini game you can change it to blue and red to signify your team color and just for a nice oh and just for a nice up um if you want me to actually show you an example of how you can advertise something look it's the mojo <laughs> Mojo logo. <laughs> uh, Mojang logo. Uh, let me just give you another example. Come on down to Mojang office. It's free, it's in Sweden, it's gonna cost a lot of airline tickets, but it's totally worth it. Meat, Jeb, and Dinnerbone, and Grum, and Tommaso, and every other Minecraft developer. It's all for free, I'm kidding, the plane tickets cost more than your life. Okay, so now, now in all seriousness, in all seriousness, we're basically done here. That's those are the top ten coolest things that you could put on your Minecraft head with commands. Like I said before, uh, earlier uh, before we did all of this, the commands are all going to be in the description, including the base command and the one for the Mojang uh, logo to come on your head. And okay, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching.